What if you were handed a gift of digitized 8mm and cockpit voice recordings? Uh, Matt Dax, should I go ahead and take them now? Go ahead, Taylor. We're, uh, we're going to head out uh, as soon as we get around. Roger, we'll just take the victim. Sure. Mr. Top Gun 11, your vector is 280 for the bogey. Alright, uh, 280. Naval aviator, combat veteran, Top Gun graduate, and OG YouTuber. I knew I had to put this puzzle together and knew exactly who could help me do it. Commander Steve Cobra Queen, U.S. Navy retired. Naval aviator, Top Gun instructor, Navy test pilot school alum, and the guy that talked my old man into signing up. Come along on this multi-part series as we dive into the Duck Chronicles and try to tell the stories that the OG YouTuber never got to. I walked aboard Pensacola the last day of January in 1967, got commissioned in April of 67, got my wings in August of 68, mm -hmm. got out to Miramar then just before Thanksgiving of 68 in December. And then went through the rag and joined my VF-96 in June of 1969. Yeah. Was in there for three years. So in June of 72 is when I got to Top Gun. And I was in Top Gun just something a little over four years. I got orders to the USS Midway as the weapons officer, department head on the ship. Didn't want to go. Thought it was the wrong thing to do. Tried to fight it. Mm. Didn't win that battle. <laughs> Got told by the detailer, these are called orders, not requests. <laughs> and so I went to the Midway and had one of the most absolutely incredible, best mm. tours of duty I had anywhere. It was a not, even though I didn't fly. So they wanted to put me ashore for a little bit and then send me back to sea. I said, well, I'd rather go to test pilot school. Mm -hmm. if, I, if I get selected. Mm -hmm. So I, they let me apply and I got selected. I went to test pilot school. From there, because I'd switched to aviation engineering duty, I went and became the F4, F4 program manager. F4s, F5s, and T38s. Mm -hmm. I was the program manager for them. And I did, got to, the good part of that is I got to do it in San Diego and not in Nav Air in Washington, D.C. Okay. January 31st of 1987. 20 years to the day mm. I walked out of the Navy. Okay. Let's go back to, uh, what, I guess, 65, 66, right? Your, your friends from high school, kind of, right? D no, and, I, D I, and never my knew, mom. I never knew your, never knew oh, Gary okay. in I high school. You, I, I met Gary in college. Oh, okay. Sue, uh, Anita, mm -hmm. her, Gary, and Sue Du all went to high school together. Mm-hmm. So they knew each other and turned out then because they knew each other and then I met Anita in college mm -hmm. too. She was her oh, sorority, sorority sister. sister. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so I got to know her and she talked about her boyfriend who was the president of the SIGEP chapter at Rolla and when I was the president of the SIGEP chapter at Cape. So we went over there one time to visit and I got to know Gary by visiting him. I actually, he let me stay with him in his room. And then uh, I invited his chapter out to come visit us. And they came out and we had a little basketball tournament. Mm -hmm. He and I climbed the water tower and painted it up to let people know that they'd been there. <laughs> had a good time. Had a good and, time, uh, right? <laughs> and then I graduated and went into the Navy. He graduated and went to... Uh, Monsanto. Monsanto. Yeah. Monsanto. And then over that time, we got kept in communication. He married Anita. I married Dee. And, and he decided he didn't like Monsanto anymore. He wanted to do something else. He was going to get drafted. I was going to get drafted. 
and we both wound up in the military. He was a little bit behind me in that, but uh, I got a little bit of a head start on him on that part. Yeah, see, he was doing T-28s, so this is when he was grad school getting his master's degree in aeronautical engineering. They were in Pensacola for a long time during that time frame. Yeah, they moved to Kingsville, because that's when I was, I was okay. born in Kingsville. So this is all Kingsville. Yeah. Yeah. November of 70. There's the TF9. Yeah. Cross country and an F9. Did that a couple times. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so the. What, Shattered the canopy. Do you remember that? Did he tell you about that? Or what's the story? No, there? I don't know anything about what that would be. Yeah, that's what we would take off and land with that canopy open. Oh, you're kidding. Uh -uh. Oh. What why that canopy is broken? I would love to know the story behind that. T-38s, F-4s. He must have gone to an Air Force base. That's a phantom. Yeah, what's he doing there? I think he's landing. Because he broke. No, that's a... Uh, oh, that's an F-100. That's an F-100, isn't it? Yeah. So this is an Air Force base. Yep. Where would... Uh, well, where we, would always, we always took cross countries and landed at Air Force bases because you get better service. Okay. <laughs> you don't ever go to a Navy base. <laughs> we always landed at Air Force bases. Where would have, where would the F nine training have been? Is that Kingsville? well? F nine. I was in Beeville, Texas, and then there was one down in uh, Kingsville. Yeah, Beeville and Kingsville. That's well, there's a big one. Tanker. Yeah. Uh, that looks like the Phoenix area. Hmm. So cross Phoenix country. or Tucson or something like that. That's How far would Tucson. you go on a cross country? Well, part of it is you're required to do it. You do it just for the fun of it, for one. For two, you do it for training, nav training. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> a lot of times they'll just have you go do an out and in. You know, you go out, land, refuel, come back. Mm. Or you just go out and do a round robin and don't land and just navigate the various checkpoints mm -hmm. and then come back. Just teaching how to use the nav gear. And the F9 is that they were also using the T2 in the training or weren't? Well, T2s, when Gary and I went through, T2s were at like uh, Meridian, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And that was, and when I went through, it was all A's and B's. A's were the single engines and the B's were the duals. Well, the B's were dual engine down in Pensacola where you went to your first care call. Later on, they started having them at the other bases as they started. Meridian now has like A4s and, and all the other air training airplanes, the new training airplanes. Mm -hmm. The new Texan T6 replaced the T34. So they're all different now than when we went through. But when we went through, you had T34s down at Softly Field. You went, if you went jets, you went up to Meridian and you flew T2s. You came back to Pensacola flying the T2 for care calls. And then you, if you went stayed in jets, 
you either went to Kingsville or Beeville. Mm. And then from Kingsville and Beeville, you went to your fleet mm -hmm. place. And at that time, it was either Norfolk, Virginia, or San Diego, Diego. if you were in Phantoms. Yeah. Uh, A6s, you'd go elsewhere. A7s uh, was up in Jacksonville or up in uh, Northern California, Central California. Well, I remember that at that stage, I did the care calls, and then we did air-to-air -air tactics. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. there's the archaic old. Mm-hmm. Mm, not a single GPS in that plane. <laughs> Half these kids today couldn't fly yeah. a plane without a GPS. <laughs> what is that on the wing there? The what? The, on the... In on the, the wing? Yeah, what is that? It's a fence. Stall fence. Okay. Okay, show it again. Come on. Yeah, there's no... So how is he flying? Go for no lens. How's he flying and filming this? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think he was supposed to be doing this either from what my mom said. He kind of just... We did it and didn't Gary, tell anyone. Gary, <laughs> Gary doing something he wasn't supposed to do? Oh, please. Pushing the limits? I don't know where I get it from. I have a hunch. <laughs> This is uh, El Paso, I think. That's the reference on it.
Do you have guys on your boat that had their Super 8s with anybody in your squadron you can remember? Do what? Had the Super 8 cameras with them? No, we didn't do much of that. Uh, that didn't start maybe until after that. No, we didn't have much of it at all that I recall. We had single seat up nines, but these are old T's. And you can't tell like where, like you could, we couldn't find this, this cross country in here because there's not enough. Well, we don't know, yeah, you don't, there's not enough T's here. Yeah. Leave a comment, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. Click that subscribe button, tell all your friends. Thanks for riding along, we'll see you next time.